Hello friends! Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to extract DNA from blood using phenol chloroform extraction method. It is the simplest method for DNA extraction in molecular biology. First of all, pour your blood samples from ADT A tubes to Eppendorf tubes. Now add same volume of solution A to all samples Mix gently and incubate at 37 degrees for 50 minutes for lysis of blood cells. After incubation is complete, take out your samples and centrifuge at 13,000 RPM for one minute. Now discard the supernatant and keep the pallet. Now again, add solution A to your samples mix the palette thoroughly using Vortex Mixture. Centrifuge your samples for one minute and discard the supernatant, keeping the palette. You can repeat this step two, three times until the palette of white blood cells is clear. After this again, discard the supernatant Add solution B, sodium dota sulfate, and proteinase K to your samples. These will unfold and digest proteins and other contamination from your samples. Now incubate the samples at 37 degrees for overnight. The very next day, take out your samples from incubator and add equal volumes of solution C and D E. Invert gently and centrifuge samples for 10 minutes at 13,000 RPM. After centrifugation, you will get two layers. DNA is contained in upper aqueous layer, while lower layer contains proteins and debris. Pick the upper layer and shift to new Eppendorf tube. Repeat this for all your samples. Now again, add solution D to your samples. Gently invert and centrifuge at 13,000 RPM for 10 minutes. Solution D promotes the partitioning of lipids and cellular debris into the organic phase, leaving isolated DNA protected in the aqueous phase. After centrifugation is done again, pick upper aqueous layer with DNA and shift to new Eppendorf tubes. Now add chilled sodium acetate and isopropanol for the precipitation of DNA. Gently mix and you can see here the DNA visible with naked eye in the form of thread. Now again, centrifuge your samples so that DNA goes into the palate. Discard the supernatant and add 70% ethanol to your sample for washing purpose. Centrifuge again and discard supernatant. Now keep your samples at room temperature or in incubator for a few hours until the ethanol is dried completely Add DNA dissolving buffer to your samples and store them for further use. You may check your DNA extraction results using gel electrophoresis method. Video for gel electrophoresis is pinned into description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!